हम तो ये सोचते हैं हमारे तिजोरी पे पहला हक किसानों को महाराष्ट्र को बेचने का काम इन लोगों ने शुरू किया गुजरात को मैंने फेक नरेटिव सेट किया जो ऐसे फेक नरेटिव की बात करेंगे लोग अब उनको फेंकेंगे एवरी पोलिटिशियन थिंक्स अबाउट इज नेक्स्ट इलेक्शन Hello and welcome to Countdown Maharashtra. Well, we've been traveling for the last 6 7 days right across Maharashtra from uh, Nagpur to Pune and now we're in Mumbai and there are only few days left. But what is fascinating this time not only is it a very very complex election that the whole state is going in one phase. Now the Lok Sabha elections it went in multiple phases. So why is that? There's a slight hint perhaps in the history of voting in multi phase elections if you look at maharashtra with every single phase the nda vote went lower and lower and lower there was a bigger and bigger swing away from the nda with more and more swings the same thing happened in uttar pradesh actually in all states where there were multiple phases in uttar pradesh it really plummeted from first to second to the seventh it was the worst and then bihar it declined with every phase and then what and this could be a worry for the bjp because not only were the phases bad the by election in bihar after main election was over it really dropped dramatically is there a trend that's happening with every day it's changing or yeah yeah initially it was thought i mean uh, when elections were to be announced it, it's going to be a uh, clean sweep for the mva then uh, again some kind of fluctuation and bjp started Uh, at least in the uh, mood state uh, level uh, it will uh, be able to manage or to hold on the uh, uti part of it but last uh, say four five days it looks like uh, it it's again tough for the uh, incumbent it, it doesn't look like the way it was initially you know so it, it's worrying for the bjp we asked actually uddhav thakre with these phases going down is that why they made just one phase and will they bounce back this time this is what he had to say this is all in one phase lok sabha was in many phases but in lok sabha in each phase the bjp vote went down 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 and your vote went up up more phases helped you now one phase will it harm you is that nee, why they made nee, it one phase nee nee us waqt bjp aise niche aayi thi abhi dhaad kar ke aayegi so don't up do you agree with that that is going down 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 now is going to sink yes that's what he said they'll go <laughs> like a, they go straight down like a in third with a third at <laughs> <and> one phase is <laughs> hoping what, that's that's what hope springs eternal yeah but it's interesting that uh, with each phase it gets worse and worse so you're going to tell us who's winning <laughs> no no <laughs> that we'll say post 24 sir i stole your joke <laughs> <laughs> so tell us that uh, do you see a change happening uh, like one thing that they did do uh, they immediately after the lok sabha election they really got to work they did the a uh, lovely behan scheme they worked on a lot of issues while the congress uh, shiv sena uddhav uh, sharad pawar combined kind of a little slow to take off when lok sabha ended it was like in vidhan sabha elections in the assembly elections at that time the mode was like mva is returning back to power but all these schemes the lovely behan scheme the schemes for unemployed people schemes for farmers and everyday schemes were being released uh, mahayuti at least try to save their face out of that they realized that they can't work on the hindutva ideology which they were trying to do in lok sabha using ram mandir using narendra modi's face it did not work for them plus on the other hand if we talk about uh, mahayuti they understood that we need to give something to people and that's where the lovely behan scheme came over here we met a lot of people while we were traveling almost all the women 90% of them said that yes we are receiving the money so the money is going over there but will that uh, convert into vote that only time will tell aaj ek taraf development ho raha hai dusri taraf welfare scheme jo mukhyamantri meri lovely behan kai yojnaon ko shuru ki ये हम लोगों को सामने लेके जा रहे हम क्या कर किया है और क्या करने वाले ये हमारा फोकस है ये सरकार ये राज्य का डेवलपमेंट और ये विकास का विकेंद्रीकरण डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हम वो बता रहे हैं और लोगों को क्या चाहिए काम चाहिए डेवलपमेंट चाहिए 
रोजगार चाहिए और वो कर रहे हैं हम साढ़े सात हजार रुपये भेटले आलिस नहीं आता बोनस भेटना है भेटना थी तो नहीं मिला अभी मुझे ये बताओ सात पंद्रह सौ रूपए महीना दिया वो तेल के पीपे में भाव बढ़ा दिया चने की दाल में भाव बढ़ा दिया शक्कर में भाव बढ़ा दिया क्या फायदा हुआ महंगाई बढ़ गई मुझे वो भाई लोग की आधी टिकट कर दी उसमें बस में रोज भाई लोग गांव जाती क्या नहीं जाती एक महीने में दो दो महीने में एक बार जाएगी इसमें सिलेंडर जर कम कर देते तो वो अच्छा होता पंद्रह रुपये दे पहले तेल तेला चा पीपा होता था चौदहशे साढ़े चौदह आता भविष्य हो मग गरीबा ने का न्यू योजनाज लाइक लाड़की बहन योजना सो योजना लाइक बीज कैन बूज दम अप हेल्प दम अप टू इनक्रीज मनते आता भाजप लाड़की बहन कर साढ़ा सात हजार रुपये टाकले का आमचपास का आम गरीबापस का लड़की बहनी जे पैसे है आमचपास जे मे महागाई वाढ़ी तैयारपासन का आमचपास कुछ लोगों के लिए अच्छा भी है मतलब कोई पोएटी पीपल्स हो तो उसके लिए अच्छा भी है और कुछ चीज़ों भी कुछ महंगाई बढ़ रही है तो वो सेम ही हो गया ना इफ यू टॉक अबाउट एम बी एटलीस्ट इन द बिगिनिंग दे वेस्ट लो इन फैक्ट इवन वेन द इलेक्शन वे अनाउंस आई थिंक सो इट वॉज पोस्ट दिवाली वेन दे स्टार्टेड टू कैंपेन बट दे पोस्ट दिवाली दे स्टार्टेड टू कैंपेन ओनली फिफ्टीन डेज इज फॉर दे आर गेटिंग टू कैंपेन बट इन दैट द बिग इशूज विच दे आर रेजिंग आर स्टेट लेवल इशूज लाइक इंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग आउट ऑफ यूर देर वॉज अ छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज आइडल विच गॉट कोलैब्स लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स बैक एंड इट वॉज जस्ट ओवर यर लास्ट इयर एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनोग्रेटेड इट सो दैट बिकेम अ इशू फॉर द मराठास देन देर आर इंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग फ्रॉम यर द मराठी वर्सेज गुजराती इशू एटलीस्ट इन द स्टेट प्लस टू पार्टीज बींग ब्रोक इन दी एन सी पी एज वेल एज शिवसेना सो दीज आर द इशूज एट लीस्ट दैट दे आर ब्रोक बैंकिंग ऑन लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट वॉट द लीडर्स हैव टू से अबाउट दिस इंडस्ट्रीज लिविंग महाराष्ट्र एंड गोइंग टू गुजरात वन ऑफ द बिग थिंग्स इन योर कैंपेन हैज बीन uh gujarat all the investment is going to gujarat and going out of maharashtra ye to fake narrative nahi hai wo keh rahe hain fake narrative hai batao na diamond market kahan gaya bal truck park kahan gaya medical yeah. device park kahan gaya tata airbus kahan gaya vedanta foxconn kahan gaya ambuja cement kahan gaya film fair award kahan gaya so why is it going to gujarat kyunki uh, modi aur shah wo unko lagta hai ki wo aaj bhi uh, gujarat ke prime minister hai today maharashtra rogne has been looted an exodus of you know right from vidanta foxconn to baldrug park to the diamond boards everything has been forced by bjp and eknath chinde from maharashtra to gujarat even during mvs time the government that we were running we had 6 and 1/2 lakh crores coming into maharashtra all the mou you signed by us be it in davos be it here in magnetic maharashtra we uh, there was a white paper by some newspaper and they said that 95% of those mous have been converted to work on ground as against vedanta foxconn baldrug park uh, medical device park airbus tata all of it being sent away to gujarat 5 lakh jobs could have been created by these four or five industries that were coming to maharashtra for sure it is depending upon the quality of your product it is depending upon the service given by the industry or the government the gujarat strength is different maharashtra strength is different any investor he only go to that city where he get good economic viability either it is gujarat jharkhand maharashtra uttar pradesh madhya pradesh anywhere the proven technology economic viability availability of raw material and marketability of the finished product and the person who is going to invest he always thinking about the profits we suppose he are getting low cost in gujarat and getting more profit he will go there since the division of the state of bombay a certain amount of tension between gujarat and maharashtra 
Now the industries could be going for the right reason, but we don't know. But the, the flood of industries that's going allows the the Uddhav side of the business to say that this, there are two Gujaratis sitting there who are taking in industry from us one after one. So the question is whether this, the only question is whether this percolating down to the smaller towns. The UBT side is trying as hard as it can to make this percolate down that, you know, why are we losing everything? Why are we, particularly when you have no jobs, why are the jobs going there? So, you know, what is the purpose? And adding fuel to this fire is actually Maharashtrian psyche, you know. Right. Uh, Maharashtrians like, they, they, do, they don't own their failures. So, so, Nobody does. <laughs> so the state leadership failure, they, they won't say we lack in getting those industries. But the story that that is accepted and people love to believe is that somebody is snatching your uh, industries and jobs. And that, that fear psychosis, basically it's, it's, it's a victimhood. It's, my, my victimhood has always worked for <laughs> local. People have the मेडिकल डिवाइस पार्क हम छत्रपति समाई नगर में लाना चाहते थे लगभग एक लाख लोगों को रोजी रोटी वहाँ मिलती टाटा एयरबस जो हम विदर्भा में लाना चाहते थे काफी सारे लोगों को रोजगार मिलता वेदांता फॉक्स का नगर आता था सेमी कंडक्टर्स की कंडक्टर की बात करें तो वो बातें हम यहाँ लाना चाहते थे सारी बातें उठाकर गुजरात लेके जा रहे यहां पे लड़के काम को ही नहीं लगे तो हम क्या करेंगे हमारे लड़के कामगार चाहिए बच्चों को कामगार चाहिए बेरोजगार जी है यहां पे तो लोग क्या करते हैं यहां नागपुर जाते हैं नागपुर नागपुर जा रहे बॉम्बे जा रहे दिल्ली जा रहे पुणे जा रहे पूरे छात्र बाहर जा रहे कोई कंपनी नहीं है यहां पे रोजगार नहीं है पोरांना युवा लोकांना रोजगार नहीं बायांना रोजगार नहीं महंगाई मजदूर वाले मजदूर नहीं का करना है उधर काटोल में कुछ भी नहीं तो बाहर जाएंगे नहीं किसको नौकरी मिला इतने पढ़े लिखे पढ़े हुए हैं समाज के एक को भी सर्विस नहीं है प्राइवेट सर्विस कर रहे एम्प्लॉयमेंट आना चाहिए और जो अभी जो यूथ जनरेशन हो रही है एजुकेशन तो सब तरफ हो रहा है बट एज अ यूथ माय कंसर्न इज राइट नाउ इफ आई एम डूइंग आई एम पुटिंग समथिंग इनपुट तो मुझे जॉब चाहिए एंड आई एम रेडी टू गिव माय सेल्फ इफ यू आर रेडी टू गिव मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी अभी हम <laughs> युवा है तो हमारे लिए कि मुद्दा बेरोजगारी हाँ हमें अभी तीन चार कंपनियाँ देख कर आए तो कहीं पर अभी नौकरी नहीं मिल रही है कुछ नहीं बेरोजगारी पना है आए भाव वाढ़ है हाँ तो वाड़ी नहीं पाजे शेक लोग माला भाव दिला शेक चांगले तो बाकी वर्ग बरबर चांगले रहते मैं वी हैव वेरी बिग इंस्टीट्यूशन हमारे पास में लॉ के लिए सबसे बड़ा इंस्टीट्यूशन है वी हैव एन एल यू हमारे पास में मेडिकल के लिए वी हैव एम्स फॉर द मैनेजमेंट वी हैव आई आई एम फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग वी हैव अ वेरी गुड इंस्टीट्यूशन इन नागपुर बट उसके बाद वी डोंट हैव प्लेसमेंट्स इन नागपुर आई थिंक ये यूथ का सबसे बड़ा मेजर इशू है कि हम पढ़ाई तो यहाँ से कर लेते हैं बट नौकरी के लिए वी चूज पुणे मुंबई बैंगलोर तो आई थिंक एजुकेशन के बाद में uh, यहाँ पर मुझे लगता है प्लेसमेंट्स की बहुत ज़रूरत है एक अच्छे पेस्कल के साथ और कब तक हम टीयर टू में रहेंगे आई वॉन्ट टू सी नागपुर इन टीयर वन वेरी सुन You found that it works also that uh, industries are going there because the BJP says, but we've got so much investment coming anyway. This is a fake narrative. Okay, some industries went, but we've got much more coming. Fake narrative. Lok Sabha ke chunao ke woh bahut badi kiemat hamein chukani padi. Usme do tin karan the. Ek to fake narrative. Savidan badalne wale hai, reservation nikalne wale hai, ghatna ke baare mein koi change karna chahte hai, aur dusra bhi. माइनॉरिटी को ऐसे डर पैदा किया उनमें से कि आपको अभी ये आपके बार 400 सौ पार किस लिए चाहिए तो इनको अभी 275 से तो उनको क्लियर मेजोरिटी मिल सकती है वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर बन सकते हैं 300 से ज़्यादा उनके सीटें आ रही है 400 सौ किस लिए किस लिए चाहिए तो 400 सौ इसलिए चाहिए कि उनको हिंदू राष्ट्र बनाना है हिंदू राष्ट्र बनाने के बाद माइनॉरिटी को राइट नहीं रहेगा वोटिंग का आ, ऐसा कुछ वो करेंगे और ये डर उनके मन में पैदा हुआ हाउ डू यू काउंटर दैट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज फेवरिंग गुजरात ओवर महाराष्ट्र गुजरात वर्सेस महाराष्ट्र गुजरात इज विनिंग ऐसा नहीं है वही अभी नया फेक वो नरेटिव सेट कर रहे हैं हमारे आप देखो एफडीआई की सबसे ज़्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट महाराष्ट्र में आई है गुजरात में नहीं महाराष्ट्र नंबर एक पे है यही हम लोगों को बता रहे हैं। पहले तो लोकसभा का चुनाव फेक नरेटिव पे हो गया संविधान बदलेंगे 
रिजर्वेशन आदिवासी का जाएगा शेड्यूल कास्ट का रिजर्वेशन जाएगा मुसलमानों को डराया क्रिश्चनों को डराया आदिवासी को डराया सब लोगों को डरा के बोले अगर ये 400 पार आएंगे मोदी जी बैठेंगे तुम्हारा भट्टा कुल हो जाएगा फेक नरेट इज द वर्ड दे आर यूजिंग बट द टाइमिंग वुड वर्क फॉर द महाविकास आघाड़ी बिकॉज शिंदे फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट इट वॉज ओनली फोर मंथ्स दैट ही वॉज द चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड वेदांत फॉक्स ऑन द बिगेस्ट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट कंपनीज दे वेंट टू गुजरात एंड दैट्स द टाइम वेन दे आर स्टार्टेड सी वी आर नॉट इन पावर एंड वी आर लूजिंग द इंडस्ट्रीज टू गुजरात सो फॉर द लास्ट टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स दिस इज वॉट दे हैव बीन सेंग एंड अदर थिंग विच हैज मैटर्ड इज सिंस एकनाथ शिंदे बिकेम द चीफ मिनिस्टर दैर समथिंग नोन एज मैग्नेटिक महाराष्ट्र विच यूज टू हैपन इट वॉज सिमिलर टू वाइब्रेंट गुजरात विच यूज टू हैपन which happens in gujarat in his tenure there hasn't been a single magnetic maharashtra which has happened over here the very first speech uh, of mr shinde as, as a chief minister he talked of 4 lakh crore uh, coming to maharashtra and thanks to uh, uh, vedanta foxcon you know <laughs> next day announcement came that the project is <laughs> i think so it said earlier that you know that the day after the first cabinet meeting the maharashtra cabinet decided to pay 60% of the cost of the bullet train you know After all, sixty percent is our share merely because it is mainly land acquisition, yeah. and the land acquisition dominates our share. Is your Maharashtra? Yes, of course, I am from Gujarat, Maharashtra. You, I am a Gujarati. You change, change from day to day. Who pays me more you, that day? <laughs> <laughs> then you are Gujarati, definitely. <laughs> But the Samvidhan issue had also been raised, and now it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Still keeping on the Congress, still talk of Samvidhan. But the problem is that Congress has misused the. sentiments of the people in the parliament election in vidarbha and maharashtra they have a strong campaign bjp if they get 400 seats they are going to change the samvidhan constitution of india baba saab ambedkar ka samvidhan badalne wale and because of that even lot of problem even in my own city in my parliamentary constituency i was expecting 5 lakhs lead but it comes to 1 lakh 50000 because many people tell me that if you are going to win you are going to change the constitution इन सारे लोकसभा जीत सकें एक सौ सीट इस मोदी शासित करते हैं कि मुझे चार सौ सीट दे दो ये हम वह तो सीट दस सीट ना दस नंबर विच इसी से ही कैन अफेक्ट और सीट ये इफेक्ट और डिफरेंसें और इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से दस है विच शासित और शासित वेस गिव चेस एंड तू सेम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन Mr. Modi is for the divine. That indicates something different. So, Dora, I want to ask you about the marginal seats and the very uh, kind of swing seats. So, if we look at uh, the Lok Sabha elections, in fact, of course, there are 48 seats in the Lok Sabha. The Shiv Sena, Uddhav Thackeray Group, Congress, and NCP Sharad Pawar got 30 out of the 48, and one independent support. So, 31 out of 48. while the bjp shiv sena ncp ajit pawar got 17 so 31 to 17 seems a huge gap but if you look at a little more detail say lok sabha by assembly segments it's a much closer fight shiv sena uddhav thackeray congress group got 153 and the bjp shiv sena ncp ajit pawar group got 126 so it's much narrower and then finally if you look at the votes the congress front with the shiv sena got 45% including the independent without them they are 44.5 and the bjp shiv sena shinde group 43.5 so there are a 1.5% difference including the independent, independent yeah, support yeah. and 31 to 17 a huge difference but it's not it is a quite a close fight you know 1.5 overall difference is a very very small difference which means a 2 Three percent swing could have made difference. Many of the assembly segments are within two and a half, five percent. At least seventy segments were won or lost with a margin of less than five percent. So it's almost a contract it occurred in that sense. But there's one big difference in that this is an assembly election. It's totally different from the Lok Sabha election. Would you? Is it almost oversimplification to say that was Congress versus BJP? This is Shiv Sena and NCP versus each other. is this a regional party fight yeah it it's more than that there are something like we can say 288 contest this time you know there is no single factor that is across all over maharashtra one can apply yes, yes. number one if you look at statistically it looks like mahayuti is comfortably uh, a position but if you go seat by seat and region wise region then you realize uh, it's it's different 
and that's why BJP is worried on that, you know, because Bidarbha is their strongest, and out of 62, they have 29 as of now. And if they fail to retain that 29, and there is no other region other than a little bit of North Maharashtra and uh, say uh, urban areas like Mumbai, Pune, uh, parts of uh, uh, cities, uh, BJP uh, will uh, find it extremely difficult to reach the e even like minimum number, you know. So statistically, what you say is right, absolutely right. It doesn't look like a, 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 a kind of a challenge, you know, uh, or neck and neck. But region-wise and seat-wise, it, it's a different picture. Right. And you've been traveling all over. It varies a lot from every hundred miles it changes. So yeah. it's a lot of local issues. A lot of local issues as well as the local candidates. So if you, uh, one example is the Dharavi seat which we are talking about. So overall we see Rahul Gandhi to Uddhav Thakre to Aditya Thakre, everyone speaking about Dharavi. And it seems like it would be their stronghold. But when we go over there, People might vote for Congress, but they don't like the candidate over there. They say we had Eknath Gaikwad, the father of Varsha Gaikwad, over there for 40 years. Then there was Varsha Gaikwad. Now they are bringing their sister. Why is there no one from Dharavi representing them? So that's one issue over there. There are several such local issues which will also create an impact. And there are around 18 contestants and other are from Dharavi, including someone from Dharavi Bachao Andolan. So a lot of votes will go from here to there. And that will matter a lot in this election. Dharavi ka vikas hona hi chahiye. Lekin Dharavi ke log jo rahe rahe hai, unke har ghar mein micro, 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 usse bhi micro, jitna bhi ho sakte micro scale ka ek to udyog hai. तो उनका उद्योग उनको हम दे देंगे उसके लिए भी जगह देंगे और वो जहां रह रहे उसी धारावी में हम उनको घर देंगे अब क्या हो रहा है कि धारावी को लेकर अभी ऑलमोस्ट चार पांच लाख लोग वहां रहते हैं दो तीन लाख से भी ज्यादा लोगों को वहां अपात्र करेंगे और मुंबई में फेंक देंगे सॉल्ट पैन में फेंकेंगे किसी को दहीसर फेंकेंगे किसी को मुलुंड में फेंकेंगे कुरला मदर डेरी की जगह लिए धारावी को आगे कर कर आदानी ने हजार एक एकड़ जमीन खाई है तो वो तो हम निकालेंगे वो तो कैंसिल करेंगे और धारावी के लोगों को वहीं पर उनके उद्योग के साथ हम घर देंगे और बाकी जो जमीन है वहां मैं चाहता हूं और चाहता नहीं करके दिखाऊंगा महाराष्ट्र के लोगों को वहां एफोर्डेबल दाम में हम घर दे देंगे क्योंकि महाराष्ट्र मुंबई पर उनका अधिकार अधिक है महाराष्ट्र के लोगों का उनकी राजधानी है वो आदानी की नहीं है हमारे धारावी में घर टूटेगा तो हमें धारावी में चाहिए बचपन से यही पैदा हुए यही बड़े हुए हमको धारा में हमारा हमारा वही एक लक्ष्य है कि हमको धारा में रहना है अभी सुनने में तो ऐसा आता है कि जितने हैं सबको नहीं मिलेगा लोगों को क्या है कि अभी तक मालूम ही नहीं है देखिए अगर मुझे मालूम है कि ड्राफ्ट के अंदर ये चीजें हैं तो भाई मैं वकील खड़ा करूंगा ये ये चीजें हैं इस पे मेरे को घर मिल रहा है कि नहीं मिल रहा है करके जनता को उतरना पड़ेगा हर जनता को हर लोगों को अपना घर बचाने के लिए उतरना पड़ेगा क्योंकि पॉलिटिशियन तो सिर्फ वोट लेने के लिए उतरे हुए हैं हम ये चाहते हैं कि धारा डेवलपमेंट हो लेकिन पात्र और अपात्र में ना हो हर घर के बदले लोगों को घर दिया जाए उनके एक डॉक्यूमेंट्स पे जिस तरह की माहिम के अंदर झोपट्टी तोड़ी गई लाइट बिल पे उनको घर दे दिया गया उसी तरह उनको घर दे दे हमारे सिर्फ दो मुद्दे हैं धारावी करके दो मुद्दे हैं धारावी के अंदर ही हमको घर मिले और पात्र अपात्र के चक्कर से हमको निजात दिलाकर धारावी वालों को धारावी में घर दिया जाए it is indeed from mumbai because what has happened you know uh, uh, uddhav thakre faction has successfully created a fear among many suburbs that dharavi uh, rehabilitation uh, you are going to get flooded because all your land uh, open space is being given to certain builder and they uh, all those staying in dharavi will be brought uh, in your uh, uh, i mean like neighbors here so that is something it's again working you know so that is an important issue. So of course the big difference between the Lok Sabha elections and these assembly elections is local factors. But there is one thing which should worry or will probably does worry the BJP. If you look at the last 25 years, every election, Lok Sabha election followed by assembly election, there's been a drop in the votes of the NDA. So there has been a drop of average of 10% and that this time could be very, very significant because even in the Lok Sabha, the BJP vote was not that high. There's a distinct trend of the NDA declining and the UPA or India rising a bit. And now they've just about overtaken in the Lok Sabha elections. But one of the things, if you look at the last few years, between Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha, six months different, every time, on average, the NDA vote goes down 10% on average. 
That means you got 44% this time. If it goes by 10% down to 34%, how are you going to stop this trend of yeah, going down? Yeah, it's also an Indian alliance. All of them are one. Are you okay? All of them are one. Hmm. All came together. For what? For the sake of Modi Ji. For the sake of हरा पाए मोदी जी को हरा पाए मोदी जी तो बन गए प्रधानमंत्री अभी ये फेक नैरेटिव बार बार नहीं चलेगा आज लोगों का सपोर्ट मोदी जी को है लेकिन ये टेन परसेंट ड्रॉप कैसे बदलेंगे आप कहाँ पर अभी वो ड्रॉप अभी तो काम से बदलेंगे अभी लोगों को पता चलेगा पचास साठ सालों में इस देश में जितने काम नहीं हुए उतने दस सालों में किए so two things they have done one is obviously the this welfare schemes and because they want to convert every voter into a labarthi <laughs> that's such a larger picture and another thing what they have done smartly is that uh, uh, creating uh, independence you know in 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 mva strongholds so that that's 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 something which is uh, not seen and not not on the radar because there are six seven corner contest and there are independents there are rebels uh, bjp has has lent candidates to eknar chinde uh, faction you know and they have been filled in various areas where congress uh, appears strong so this there this two prong strategy bjp is uh, working on to to counter that fall even in 2014 bjp 122 seats in maharashtra election when there was the modi wave fadnavis became the chief minister by 2019 while modi was back in the center bjp went from 122 to 105 they could right. not form their government on their own whereas they were thinking to cross 144 in maharashtra it was path. the peak of devendra fadnavis where he sent water to the rural areas yeah, yeah, yeah. he became the development man so yes this has been a deny for a decline for at least bjp in the last 10 years consistently uh, but one other factor durab is this long term decline of maharashtra as a state 2000 2005 it was the second richest state per capita gdp in the country now has gone down to 9 to drop in 20 years by from second to ninth and then on top of that industry going away yes you know this happened because in the old days maharashtra was the default state yeah. everybody came to bombay the question now there is there is telangana there is karnataka i mean we are talking mainly of gujarat but the other states too right orissa they've all picked up because you know maharashtra was hoping that we'll just sit back like in the old days we used to yeah. and everybody came here nobody thought of going past karjat <laughs> now you know they're going all over india so you know so that underlying discontent must stem from that i mean you don't people don't know the statistics yeah. but there is a feeling that there something is, feeling. is happening there is a feeling things are not growing like uh, neighboring states yeah. and now industry going away so the combination is fairly strong with this election it is it is it. so actually it started in 1991 with with the reforms you know maharashtra is the it bus not many people know that infosys is born in pune yes <laughs> yes brought yes. up in and uh, wipro Karna- yeah wipro and karnataka uh, it went to so since then maharashtra was consistently losing big uh, 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 kind of a stop was or halt was in between when prithviraj chavan and vilas rao deshmukh thought of creating uh, uh, financial city in in mumbai international financial city that has also gone to gujarat after that now so the gift city in, in ahmedabad yes, yes, yes. so since then the the flight of uh, uh, industrial is it, it's serious and there are there are many reasons first is uh, uh, obviously Uh, not so aggressive uh, leadership number one and second which is most worrying uh, is factionalism growing factionalism in in uh, political parties and this factionalism is the most complicated thing you've been trying to explain it to me i still don't understand <laughs> it i don't think anybody does but the whole everybody is fighting everybody else yeah. and they can come back together as someone uh, told us yesterday so these two alliances are not only fighting against each other they are also fighting within their alliances <laughs> and it seems to be a lot of combination and combination that they are using so an example of that would be manoj jarange patel the maratha leader uh, he has been continuously criticizing devendra fadnavis despite he being the deputy chief minister but he always praises eknath shinde who is the chief minister who has to give them the reservation similarly raj thakre Raj Thakre praises Devendra Fadnavis, calls him the next Chief Minister of Maharashtra, but criticizes Eknath Shinde. So in these leaders have in another constituency. He he supports Eknath Shinde. In another constituency, <laughs> he is supporting Eknath Shinde. So this seems to be the flavor of the season. Actually, the Maratha leader, we did speak to him a few months ago. That is slightly diverted. Let's hear a couple of things that he said then, and 
we'll ask you whether they've really fulfilled what he said. I think 90% of farmer suicides are by Maratha farmers. Yeah. Why are so many suicides by Maratha farmers? शेती चा यानारे जी पिकाय तेला भावना ये एक नंबर त्याह मुल आत्महत्या होता है दूसरा मराठा रिजर्वेशन मराठा ना नस्ले मुल ते नौकरी जात नहीं है अनेक शिक्षण सुधा जात नहीं त्याह मुल आत्महत्या होता है अनेक दोनों ही जनतेला समाज ला मिलूं दे इसे मजे तेंचे शेती लाई भाव मिला � मतलब उनके जो क्रॉप्स को जो रेट मिलना चाहिए वो नहीं मिल रहा है तो सिर्फ तरफ एजुकेशन नहीं मिल रहा है और नौकरी भी नहीं मिल रही है। But the Maratha thing whole issues it's still strong as strong as six months ago। Yeah yeah and that will be a decisive factor in Maratha even now। Jairang Patil this time has said I am not supporting anybody but he constantly criticizes Fadnavis। Yeah। He doesn't say very much else। I mean is his quiet posture does it help one side or the other? Yeah, it, it, it is, it's calculated. It's not a uh, uh, innocent kind of a, uh, a calm or, or, or silence by him, you know. The message from Janange Patil is very clear. Defeat Fadnavis men, not the BJP, Fadnavis men, you know. So this is something, it's, it's another uh, angle to this election. And that's why wherever there are uh, Maratha candidates uh, uh, versus OBC or other caste candidates, uh, Jarange party uh, will sway the, uh, I mean it, it, it's happening on the ground, you know. So this is uh, uh, again uh, something that has happened in Maharashtra and no one has the answer how to counter that. Is there a caste based issue to a certain extent? It is a caste based issue and it's to an extent that if you find, if you go to say place like Bid or, or uh, Jalna and uh, auto or cab driver is Maratha, he will ask you are you Maratha uh, and if you are not Maratha then he will say please then I am not for you. So that kind of a division has happened on the ground and that is that is long term damaging for the state. And basically know? it's all about reservation. It's all about reservation. Right. Maratha reservation, are you going to give it or not? Yes, no. Yes. I have said that the first basic of Jatiniya is the first basic of Jatiniya. And we will also increase the OBC and the Maratha. The amount of Maratha is the first basic of Jatiniya is the first basic of Jatiniya. उनको आरक्षण क्योंकि हम शाओ महाराज की भूमि है जिन्हें आरक्षण की शुरुआत की थी बाबा साहब अमृत की कर्म भूमि रही है तो महाराज में जो लोग भी आज पिछड़े लोग हैं मराठा रेजर्वेशन यू विल डू बिल्कुल है तो उसमें ओबीसी में का आरक्षण निकाल के नहीं देंगे हम लोग हम जतिन यहाँ � one has to take such an decision because we are living with the policy line of the eyes of the citizens who are. As Mr. Dharaja himself said, Varathas, and not only Varathas, we also mention some other things we think they deserve. So, in such situations, one has to sit with every cross-section, other colleagues, other communities, and we have to explain what's in fact of this Indian them. We have to convince them and we have to take such decisions which will not create any problem for other communities. Aratha is one of the major communities of the state. In many places, I still with Aratha. That's why they have more responsibility than the head of the business. So our efforts will be to convince them to take others also, and we have to convince others that we have to work together. From that side, we can find some solution about this disease. Well, Mr. Shinde said last night, I mean, that's his point of view, is that, look, we've gone to the courts and we can't give reservation, the center can. But obviously, that is not going well on the ground. Our government has not done anything to do with us. जो है हम स्पष्टता से बात करते हैं हमने कहा था मराठा समाज को रिजर्वेशन हम देंगे किसी अन्य समाज का नुकसान नहीं करते हुए ओबीसी का या किसी अन्य सब तो प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मराठा वॉन्ट रिजर्वेशन इन दैट ओबीसी कैटेगरी यू नो द सेम हाउ हाउ मच यू कैन डिवाइड फर्दर यू नो एंड नाउ द फनी थिंग इज दैट बीजेपी फिलिंग ओ कैंडिडेट and Congress also uh, uh, having an OBC candidate. That's going to be an interesting tussle because they want to support Congress, but not an OBC. What about the agrarian 
we've so, met so many farmers, uh, not only of, of oranges, yeah. of cotton, cotton soya bean, soya bean. Soya, soya bean and a lot of discontent. And they blame the BJP on that, so that blame, will harm them. Yeah, and in fact, there were visuals of farmers protesting against BJP leaders in their rallies because they have been raising issues and saying that when you were in opposition prior 2014, you have been saying at that time that soya bean should get 6,500 rupees MSP. And now it's around 2,500. 2,500. So they are not even getting the 4,000 rupees MSP or 3,800 rupees MSP which the government says. So that is going to impact especially in western Maharashtra. Uh, as far well in Vidarbha, uh, uh, cotton Vidarbha. and uh, hmm. soya bean mainly in Vidarbha it will be there. Our government has priority to agriculture, it has never been given. If the government gives 6,000 rupees, एक रुपए में क्रॉप इंश्योरेंस दिया हमने बराबर अभी बिजली के जो उसके जो खेती करते हैं पंप से 7.5 एचपी का पंप उसका बिजली बिल माफ कर दिया है हमने सोयाबीन और कपास को हेक्टर 5000 रुपए दिया है जो गैप फिलिंग करने के लिए दूसरी बात अभी जब गैप आएगा भाव कम हो गए तो गैप फिल करने का काम हम लोग करेंगे 20% तो ये कर रहे हैं हम लोग किसानों के साथ में आज तक जब बेमौसमी बारिशात आती है नुकसान होता है एनडीआरएफ के नाम को हमने चेंज कर दिए दो हेक्टर के तीन हेक्टर कर दिए ये भी हमने तो किया है पंद्रह हजार करोड़ रुपए दो साल में हमने दिया है फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ की स्कीम हमने किसानों को दिए तो ये विपक्ष का जो है उन्होंने जो वायदा किया था कर्ज माफ करने का और रेगुलर कर्ज रीपेमेंट करने वाले को पचास हजार रुपया इंसेंटिव वो नहीं दिया उन्होंने वो हमने दिया है तो किसानों के पीछे हमारी सरकार पूरी तरह ताकत से खड़ी है हम तो ये सोचते हैं हमारे तिजोरी पे पहला हक किसानों का है मैं खुद फार्मर हूँ मैं खुद किसान हूँ जी हाँ मैं आज भी खेती करता हूँ मोदी जी से भी मेरी में जब मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट था तब मोदी जी से भी लड़ाई जो हुई तो उसमें फॉर्मर ही इश्यूज में था मेरे पे विश्वास है और इसलिए पार्लियामेंट में भी लोगों ने सबसे ज्यादा बड़ी पार्टी कांग्रेस को ही बनाई आज भी मैं आपको कहता हूँ दावे के साथ कहता हूँ मुझे विश्वास है कि लोगों का विश्वास मेरे पे फेत है और महाराष्ट्र में परिवर्तन होगा और मैं जो आज कन्फ्यूजन किसानों में है जो आपने बात कही है उस कन्फ्यूजन को हम दूर करेंगे मेजॉरिटी की गवर्नमेंट महाराष्ट्र की जनता ने हमें देना है और उनका कन्फ्यूजन जो है वो हमेशा के लिए हम ये करेंगे और किसान ये सबसे शक्तिशाली महाराष्ट्र का होगा ये हमारी भूमिका है और हमारे पास पूरा प्लान है क्योंकि जब तक हम लोग एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेट करना है तो बड़ी बड़ी इंडस्ट्रीज हम लाएंगे भी तो आजकल कंप्यूटर आ गए उसमें बहुत सारे लोगों को हम एंगेज नहीं कर सकते हैं लेकिन फॉर्मिंग इंडस्ट्रीज इतना ये है कि उसमें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों को हम लोग इन्वॉल्व कर सकते हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि महाराष्ट्र में हम लोग कर सकते हैं भाव अभी सात हजार छः हजार सात हजार छः हजार सात हजार तो कितना आपको नुकसान है फायदा है नुकसान है अच्छा खर्चा और कितना मिलता अभी मिलेगा कितना आपको अभी पचास हजार मिलता आधा मिलता ज्यादा नहीं मिलता तो कैसे तो कैसा आपको घाटा है कि फायदा है घाटा है घाटा है किसानों के लिए मुद्दा है आज जो हमारे का फार्मर है ना फार्मर जी सबसे ज्यादा दुखी है क्यों क्यों आज उसके हाथ में तीन पीक है तीन तीन क्रॉप उसके हाथ में है जो फार्मर के हाथ में आज के तारीख में एक है सोयाबीन दूसरा है कपास और तीसरा है संतरा अम्बिया का संतरा ठीक है आज ना सोयाबीन को भाव मिल रहा है ना कपास को भाव है ना ही संतरे को भाव है इसकी भी रीजन क्या है गवर्नमेंट और कोई नहीं है ठीक है गवर्नमेंट कोई भी हो आप सवाल किसको पूछोगे जो आज सत्य में है बरबर ना मगर एम एस पी तो है ना सोयाबीन के लिए कहा है कहा मिल रही है एम एस पी का रेट क्या है आज चार हजार आठ सौ बयानवे रुपए करीब चार हजार नौ सौ रुपए है सोयाबीन बिक्री है तीन हजार से लेके तीन हजार सात सौ रुपए तक और उसके कंपेरेटिव तेल के रेट है डेढ़ सौ रूपए किलो सब लूट रहे गरीब को काश्तकार को अच्छा हाँ कारखानदारी लूटता है दूसरा व्यापारी लूटता है 
और तीसरा मजदूर लूटता है और चौथा जंगली जानवर लूटता है तो किसान को पैसे नहीं मिल रहा है क्या मिलते हैं बोर देते हैं और आवला खींचते हैं अच्छा नहीं मिल रहा है बोर देता है बेर बेर देता है और आवला खींचता है अच्छा हाँ थोड़ा देता है बहुत ले हम बहुत ले लेता है यहाँ पे कोई भी प्रोसेसिंग प्लांट नहीं एक था जो बंद हुआ है दो अलग अलग कंपनी ने चला के भी देखा है तो एक दूसरी कंपनी ने तो वहाँ पे संतरे का जूस निकालने के बजाय आम का और जो क्या बोलते मटर मटर के बीज वगैरह निकाल के वो लेके जाते थे यहाँ से लेकिन कुछ दिनों बाद वो भी बंद हो गया पूरी इंडिया में बेरोजगारी लेकिन एक ग्रामीण बाग के हिसाब से अगर देखा जाए वैसे तो यहाँ पे एक एम है काटोल एरिया में डोंगर में अगर वो एम चालू होती कम से कम बंद है अभी अभी फिलहाल बंद है कौन सा फैक्ट्री है वहाँ पे कौन सा फैक्ट्री चालू है वहाँ पे कोई बंद है कब बंद हो गई बंद तो बहुत सालों से बंद है एक दो फैक्ट्री चालू है नॉमिनली बाकी तो सब पूरी फैक्ट्री बंद है वहाँ पे लेकिन सरकार कितनी कितनी मदद करेगा अभी लाडली बहन का चालू हो गया पंद्रह सौ का अब देखो पंद्रह सौ तो डाल दिए उन्होंने बहनों के खाते में और जीजा के खाते में क्या डाला उनसे वसूल कर लिया दूसरे दिन भाव बढ़ा दिया तेल के तो दूसरे दिन ही वसूल कर लिए तो क्या फ़ायदा हुआ वो पंद्रह सौ का कॉटन को भाव नहीं मिल रहा संतरे को भाव नहीं मिल रहा सोयाबीन को भाव नहीं मिल रहा है सब काश्तकार लोग परेशान हैं उससे नैसर की खापत चेरी बारिश हो रही सब के लोगों की सोयाबीन खराब हो गई इस साल यानी हर साल ही तो होती आ रही अभी ये कपास का चालू है कैसा तो अभी तो कपास में भी तो ये चालू है उनका किसान परेशान है किसान को यानी उसके यानी जो लगाया हुआ खर्चा वो भी नहीं निकल पा रहा है ऐसी बात है Broadly, if you divide Maharashtra into six different regions, it looks something like this. On the west, there's Mumbai and Konkan. Mumbai has 36 seats, and the BJP is stronger here. It's not at its strongest. BJP is strongest in Konkan, which has got 42 seats. BJP is very strong there. On the other hand, on the eastern side in Vidarbha, 66 seats, and here the Congress and the Shiv Sena. Uddhav Thakre and the Sharad Pawar group are very strong, and also in Marathwada, which has 42 seats. In the north, 36 seats, and in the west, 66 seats. It's about equal. So two for the BJP in the west, two for the Congress Alliance in the east, and down the centre, which is the north and the west, it's equally strong. Let's just summarise that party strengths in each region. The BJP, Shiv Sena, NCP. is strong in 78 seats the congress shiv sena sharad pawar group strong in 108 seats and equally strong in 102 so it's pretty evenly divided but what's interesting is where the bjp is strong it wins by large margins there are only 30% of their seats which are narrow margins but where the congress is strong in those 108 seats 40% of those seats are very vulnerable narrow margins unsafe seats and of course in the equal area where they are equally strong 35% are very narrow margins so it is a very volatile election yes it is and those two regions that are equal which is north and west i think of that west with 66 seats i think that will determine finally who wins i mean it's pawar versus pawar yeah. which pawar is prevalent wins is the pawar that probably will form the government The margin conquer conquer is old Shiv Sena stronghold. Yes. So conquer in Mumbai is, but Mumbai doesn't have that kind of much four five percent. Right. In the other two regions, Marathwada and Vidarbha also is four or five percent majority for India. But the other ones, the two north and the north and the west, there's a one percent difference in overall vote. Right. So if there is a swing, if Mr. Ajay Ajit Pawar's satraps or Mr. Pawar's weeping and Giving a hard luck story speech, which one prevails is, I think, what may determine in the end. Because so there's the, very narrow margins. In, in this context, tell us a bit about the impact in the different regions of this. Ek hai to safe hai, uh, cutting it, butting it, or cutting it. Keep, keep getting it wrong. Which way? Wrong? Actually, butting it or cutting it, it was a complete butting mistake, it. you know, from the BJP. Mm, it was a mistake, yeah, but it was an absolute mistake because it, it doesn't have any resonance. Number one, and it is, it's likely to backfire, you know, uh, from. From the and the caste point the of view, allies are aware of that. I fully agree. When they say "butting it or cutting it," because if we are butting it, then Maharashtra will pocket cut. BJP is only about butting it, cutting it, looting it, chatting it, marrying it. It doesn't go ahead. If we are one, then we are safe. It is also what I agree with. Because if we are Maharashtra, then we are one. We will be safe from the two sides. The BJP's Hindutva, BJP's fixation of the Maharashtra that they are trying to do, 
is something we don't agree with. The BJP Sindhutva is only electoral Hindutva. What they believe is what you eat, what color you wear, how many times to the temple you go defines what your religion is. That's not Hindutva. My religion is much deeper than that. My religion is much more intense than that. What my beliefs are in my heart. But today, whoever's coming for a job here, whoever's coming with a dream to get a job in Maharashtra, is not coming with a label saying Hindu, Muslim, Parsi, Christian, Sikh, Isai, Buddhist. They're coming for a job. They're a citizen of India. So whatever they call as vote, jihad or whatever, have they not gone and said Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas? Have they not gone into madrasas and mosques? Has the RSS chief not gone into a mosque or a madrasa? The most important thing is all of these people, be it Muslims, be it anyone else, be it Buddhists, be it Sikhs, the citizens of India. Modi ji ne kaha, ek hai to safe hai. आज एक क्या है अभी जहाँ भी हम जाते हैं पूरे देश में तो वहाँ हम हमको सेफ लगता है क्योंकि मोदी जी ने जो काम किया है पूरे देश का देश के लिए जो पचास साठ सालों में नहीं हुआ है वो उन्होंने किया है महिलाओं का आत्मसम्मान आत्मनिर्भर करना ये सब किया है तो हमारा कहना है कि एक होकर एकजुट होकर डेमोक्रेसी में वोटिंग करना चाहिए परसेंटेज ऑफ वोटिंग बढ़ाना चाहिए अभी वो भी उसमें है तो एक साथ में होकर आ जाओ बोलना क्या गुना है क्या ब्रिटिश के जैसा डिवाइड एंड रूल जो कांग्रेस कर रही है वो वैसे थोड़ी करना है तो मुझे लगता है कि यहाँ पर सब मिलकर ये डेवलपमेंट के मुद्दे पर इस राज्य को आगे बढ़ाने के मुद्दे पर एक होकर ये डेमोक्रेसी में वोट करो हिंदुत्व तो की बात कौन कर रहे हैं कौन आरोप लगा रहा है मेरे पर जो सत्ता में बोलो कौन नाम बोलो ना शिंदे अमित शाह नरेंद्र मोदी वो कहते हैं हिंदुत्व वाली पार्टी ये है मैं सिर्फ एक ही बात कहूंगा कि नरेंद्र मोदी जी नेक्स्ट टाइम जब पाकिस्तान के प्राइम मिनिस्टर का केक खाने के लिए जाएंगे तो थोड़ा केक हमारे लिए भी लाइए और फिर हमारे ऊपर आरोप लगाइए हमने आज तक कभी केक नहीं खाया आपने केक खाया है तो उनका केक खाकर हमारे हमें हिंदुत्व ना सिखाए सर वन थिंग वी बीन टॉकिंग टू अट ऑफ वोटर्स and mainly the youngsters are saying okay we are supporting bjp they will develop but they don't talk about development they talk about infiltration of muslim they should not do this why are they dividing the society by talking about infiltration such a small number of people development is very important employment is also equally important at the same time internal and external security of the country is very very important today either we like it may not like it it is a serious problem somewhere some part of the country we are facing the problem of terrorism and particularly some part of the country there is lot of population that infiltration is there and because of that also there are lot of national problem and social problem when you have more population more infiltration ultimately they are the people they will come they are taking the jobs of original people and that is to be very important that we should be very cautious about it it is a national threat because even in in our own city in nagpur some area on the footpath lot of people are doing business when we find out the origin the origin is from bangladesh हिंदू मुस्लिम सब एक नहीं एकत्र पाजे ना कारण की हाँ अपन सगे एक अपल रक्त एक हिंदू मुस्लिम एक राइट नाउ नो बड़ी इज इंटरेस्टेड इन रिलीजन एंड कास्टिजम ऑल दीज थिंग्स अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट यूथ जनरेशन के हाथ में अभी अपना देश सौंप रहे दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग ये यूथ लोग अभी कुछ ना कुछ बदलाव लाएंगे जो जरूरत है the government is not able to answer to particular question they try to divert the mindset of the youth they go ahead with like using the muslim topic come ahead and i have seen in mumbai like some part of like mumbai region uh, bajrang dal specifically bajrang dal is kind of more promoting and they are diverting the to like a mindset of the people but in this time we have to be very careful and we have to be very precise like what we are seeing and what we have to choose a path on gen z so hum log to dekhte nahi hai ki क्या हिंदू क्या मुस्लिम हम लोग के इसमें तो नहीं चलता है जो पहले के लोगों की जैसी मेंटालिटी है जो पहले के लोग एक्चुअल में जो एंशियन टाइम से जो चले आ रहा है तो लोग वही बेसिकली पेरेंट्स अपने बच्चों के माइंड में वही भरते हुए आ रहे हैं abhi ke time pe we were living in 2024 and still people are doing hindu and muslim i think this is the ideology that has been uh, put in our mind from very start and i think this should end 
at this point this should end and i think education is the one thing that will end this after lok sabha elections one thing which the bjp leader started to do especially in mumbai is that we were winning five constituencies but there was one constituency which was muslim dominated which we weren't winning mm-hmm. so even if you listen to from devendra fadnavis to kiret somaya to all the leaders they talk about something known as vote jihad where they are saying we all need to be united so bjp has understood that the marathas are not with them there is an issue of maratha and obc so they are trying to bring people together in the name of hindutva that be we are being divided and that's why the opposition is winning so that is one thing they are using secondly even on 22nd of january when the ram temple was being inaugurated it did not have much effect in maharashtra because of manoj jarange patil's protest that day and they tried to use the same issue in lok sabha it did not work for them so now they know that hindutva won't be the only issue that would gain them votes they might keep their hindutva votes or people voting for hindutva with them but it won't get, get, get them more votes so that's why these largely bahna schemes at least what we saw it in mumbai and nearby areas is that the local shiv sena offices known as shakhas they are using that to at least reach out to women and uh, in fact right now they are making them aware see we have helped you we gave you 7500 rupees till now if we come back it will re- increase from 1500 to 2100 rupees mm-hmm. and you will get even more rupees so even if you look over there there are banners everywhere where they have put 2100 into 12 that is equal to 25200 so they are making this a big issue that we'll give you even more money given the fact that you vote for us suddenly the maths has become good <laughs> uh-huh. ladly ben also has another benefit in maharashtra fewer women vote than men ladly ben could encourage peop- women who have been benefited this is a, by this a very important point actually while every other state women turnout has overtaken men in maharashtra sadly it's 5% less than men women turnout is lower than men and this is one of the few states that has supposed to be that. progressive state yeah and it's really surprising because the women we spoke to are very articulate very assertive yeah, yeah. but they just don't seem to be going maybe it'll change this time but uh, one other issue about who do the women support there's this wonderful survey of the lok sabha election done by cicero and dhananjay only exit poll that got it right or near about right instead of saying to to 40 they said to 57 but they didn't say 350 they showed a uh, a decline and looking at the gender breakup the two factors nda is stronger amongst women marginally while the congress is marginally stronger about men the other interesting issue is and this is not from cicero it's uh, from other data the nda is 5% higher vote in urban areas and india has 8% higher vote in rural areas so the nda is more urban centric hmm. and that's i expect what, that repeated this time and that's what they are focusing on that we are bringing bridges so if you listen to what shinde says right. he'll talk about coastal road he'll talk about atal setu he'll talk about bridges being built over here same with devendra fadnavis he is not talking about that we are bringing new industries and they know the hindutva issue will have a bit more in fact the in urban areas as compared to rural areas where agrarian is a big issue uh, that's issue of inflation over there jobs is one of the biggest issue in rural areas and over there this hindutva issue of building bridges won't work when you said it backfired do, hindu muslim antagonism and is not traditional of maharashtra yes correct right? maharashtra what matters again it's very unfortunate but that's the reality castes it's always been the story of maharashtra elections you know and that's why uh, the selective uh, 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 use of word like peshwai uh, and such kind of things you know and the maratha pride and the peshwai you know okay we actually got cicero uh, vote differentials in caste and let's have a look at exactly it's very important that you raised it they tend to show that forward caste are solidly bjp shiv sena uh, 63% compared to 41% well under 41% marathas slight advantage to congress shiv sena 55 to 42 for the bjp obc is much more solidly for uh, bjp shiv sena shinde group and ncp ajit pawar 55 to 31 schedule cast more for the congress shiv sena ubt 52% to 33% adivasis 52% to congress and 37% and of course muslims 80% to congress uh, shiv sena and 8% to bjp so that caste is a crucial aspect it is here. the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in the 
general election was also more with India because of the Samvidhan business. Yeah. The question is what happens now? The Samvidhan business. Is that's that's extremely important because just a, a few days before elections, Maharashtra government came out with a notification for sub classification of SCs. And that's, uh, that, that's, a, that's a very smart move actually, if, if it uh, helps them uh, uh, politically, you know. Because what they have done, they have divided uh, Dalits and, uh, I mean, Hindu Dalits. Mm. So trying to uh, 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 appropriate those communities which are part of the uh, Congress's support base, you know. And that, that has gone under the radar, that has become, uh, hasn't yes. become an issue. But that will play out in the open and the person uh, and the party which is actually uh, working to bring that issue out in the open is Vanchit, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Prakash Ambedkar is it's, it's raising this issue. So that 15% margin of, yeah. in favor of the Congress and uh, NCP and uh, Shiv Sena will may go down because of that this. That efforts are on actually from the BJP right. side yeah. to, to bring this issue and then uh, which will eventually result. So overall result. you feel the BJP Shiv Sena tactics have been a little smarter than uh, Congress uh, Uddhav Thakre's? Yes, they, they have to make it much more smartly, they, have, they are playing it much more smartly. It is because in the last two and a half years if you see the image of this government is not very good among the mind of people. Why? Because one, Ekna Shinde had to break the party, he got the name as well as the symbol, same with Ajit Pawar, then the industry is going. And now they are been using not only these schemes, but also using Prakash Ambedkar. They have been using Raj Thakre and it is being looked at that Raj Thakre and Prakash Ambedkar might benefit the Mahayuti and it might create a damage for Maha Vikas no, Agad. I would like to add to what you yes. are saying is, is uh, what BJP has done between Lok Sabha elections and uh, this one. In the last four months, they had uh, something like 330 meetings of different OBC groups, uh, which is which is not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, out in the open, you know. And the BJP's backroom <laughs> machinery was uh, there, different leaders from different s states were here in uh, Maharashtra, OBC leaders, and they addressing those small small groups 330 meetings on record you know this is again that is a amazing. very important yeah, strategy yeah, yeah. Yeah. plus the, the RSS. strategy yeah very focused plus the rss yeah has the rss is it playing an important role we've had differing yes it's it's playing important role but it it, it has a caveat that's what they say and that is that devendra fadanvis hmm. Oh. So, no Ajit Pawar, uh, no Egnath Chinde. BJP, I mean, RSS has been very clear. Uh, it's been told to BJP leaders. And BJP also, uh, uh, BJP leaders also admit this is a, a thing that is... that is uh, Sticking point. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, for the person who actually first pointed out, I mean, 30 years ago about anti-incumbency, when you were 12, mm -hmm. um, and is there anti-incumbency here? Is it... Well, no. Don't forget the government's only two years old. So it's Correct. not that it's a five-year-old or a ten-year-old government. Mm. So there would be some anti-incumbency anyway because somebody doesn't like your policies. In mm. an opposition, you don't make policies. When the government, you make policies, so you make your friends and you make enemies. But I don't think there's any severe anti-incumbency yeah. that one sees. I mean, Mr. Shinde is really going out hell for leather everywhere to you know propagate what his government has done, whether he's done it, not done it, or done it not well or bad. He's just on the trail all the time and I think that does lower whatever anti incumbency there might be. He's focusing on development that's and right, progress. That's yeah. right, that's right. Very generous man he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually is. That's why opposition and the ruling party, even the BJP leaders love him because he is really <laughs> benevolent kind of. <laughs> benevolent in many ways. Yeah, <laughs> many ways. So to summarize, if we can just go through just the basic issues, the 1500 rupees going up to 2100, that's one. Jobs, is that going to be anti-incumbency? Maybe Congress is not better than the BJP at jobs, but if you're just angry, anti-incumbency jobs, the agrarian issue where there is a distinct feeling that the BJP favors towns and for instance, onions, when it started going up, they brought the price down and the farmers, is that going to be important? Maratha reservation, and the Hindutva, just small five points. Yeah, just so give yeah. them in order of 
uh, who will benefit I think and how much that order can be uh, uh, we have to have uh, region specific here. yes yes in marathwara yes, yes. vidarbha agrarian issue it's very much important in parts of uh, north maharashtra also and on agrarian issue bjp find always itself uh, caught between these two stools you know i mean uh, on the one hand is try to satisfy urban uh, consumers uh, and then uh, the farmer get uh, antagonized so so there, there is a policy flip flop which is impacting uh, in, in so that's uh, one that could harm in three areas yeah. mostly in the east and the north uh, marathwada vidarbha and parts of north maharashtra in in western maharashtra uh, again uh, the in cities this this job uh, is a serious issue and mumbai also investing uh, investments going away it but will do they feel that the congress will do a better job so So, uh, oh, they're just fed up with this. Yeah, they're yeah. fed up. Job so is an anti-incumbency. Jo- yeah, jobs issue is like it's it's perennial like corruption. You know, it, it's always there. No one is better than anyone. And then Maratha reservation. Maratha reservation, yes. Marathwada that will be a decisively uh, kind of a uh, decisive factor in in, in uh, almost like all constituencies. Maratha uh, uh, will will uh, that issue will dominate uh, that region. BJP has almost like given up in that. You know, You've given up. and the hindutva part i don't think so hindutva is negative is, or positive no and financially settled people can afford to be hindutvavadis you know and they are supporting the bjp but by now the majority it won't I be important so. to them it's either not way. an election issue. either way yeah either way okay yeah and uh, i'm going to come to you better think about <laughs> all these points as well the industry is going to gujarat yeah that is working it is a it's it, is. A it has a resolution issue. it has a resolution does it go down to the rural areas this uh, rural area no. yeah no do they know so it's only the it's the influence only in urban areas urban areas yeah. industry moving because frankly when industry moves jobs move so Correct. the jobs could also have gone to rural people yeah. who could have gone to come to mumbai, mumbai. instead of going to yes yeah that way so the lucky ban 2100 uh, 1500 going to 2100 at least they've got it hmm. will that have a positive effect for the bjp uh, shiv sena shinde group that's what they are focusing on so their thing is uh, they have realized and uh, interesting thing one bjp leader told us that even in muslim community since the women have got 1500 ru- uh, rupees every month they are expecting that at least muslim women voters will work and vote for mahayuti this time because they have got this money this is what at least the bjp hopes they put ek hai to safe and uh, <laughs> that might Nothing work is. against uh, that <laughs> so, might work against them for the uh, muslim male dominated voters so that is what they are expecting they have put all their basket in one egg that uh, one uh, all the eggs in one basket that is the ladki bhain scheme so that's going to help the bjp that's what they are hoping so dora last thing from lok sabha to now what has changed in favor of bjp what has changed in favor of uh, congress shiv sena you know what has changed in favor of the, in the BJP, in the 6 months in the mahayuti is actually mainly the largely scheme and all the promises they've made now they've already got 1 lakh crore in terms of cash deficit so how they'll there's a good deal with those for that wo baad mein dekha jayega ha so that is what probably will happen i i think the congress is the mva is hoping on the fact that there'll be an anti mahayuti vote rather than a pro they've not they've also promised a list of promises yeah. but i think it's they're hoping the dissatisfaction with the mahayuti will lead people in this direction and having let that so 6 months ago they're hoping the trend will continue now but one thing you have not made clear is why are you taking industry away from maharashtra to your gujarat why Correct. why well, no answer that we'll have a big okay. discussion on that sometime <laughs> so what will you say since lok sabha to now two things that have benefited the mahayuti and two things that have benefited the mva yeah so i will thanks to election commission uh, because we delayed the <laughs> election largely made it one phase <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> normally the seven eight ten phases <laughs> yeah but yeah largely by now obviously it's something is a positive yeah, for them it's a positive for them since the lok sabha since the lok sabha that's the only positive for them that's the only and the ne- largest negative largest negative is it's complete failure and in in, in uh, having kind kind of sensitivity in addressing agrarian issues agrarian they issues. are consistent in their failures right 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 <laughs> and that's because they are seen to be pro and probably urban, are pro urban, urban where they get most of their votes mm. two things that have changed in favor since the lok sabha for either side so ladli bhana would was a face saver for the mahayuti because uh, 
a lot of things were discussed among the voters. Number one, that this has not been the Maharashtra culture where you not only break the parties, you take the symbol as well. So it was a, uh, the mood was very negative for Mahayuti at least till Lok Sabha. But these schemes have helped them, especially Mr. Shinde, who was considered to be once a leader of MMR region and Konkan. He has been able to reach across Maharashtra along with Ajit Pawar and Devendra Fadnavis. So they are banking on this issue. This has changed for them. However, on the other side, what has helped uh, uh, the Mahavikas Aghadi is the local issues like industry is going from here that became a big issue and the agrarian issue right now which is happening and uh, Narendra Modi promised two days back so they are also accepting that this is an issue but I think so it's too late for them to promise right now to give 6,000 rupees whereas Rahul Gandhi has also made a promise of 7,000 rupees so now both of them are also now playing on the agrarian issue. Actually I hate to bring up one issue and that is do votes matter? Do seats matter? After, all the old elections will be decided after the results, right? When everything is up for grabs. You then, know, <laughs> then it's a question of money. So, are they going to come back together, Ajit Pawar, Shadal Pawar? When we asked him, he didn't say no. This is what he said. We'll, I'll talk to you after the election. Don't talk now. Listen to Ajit Pawar. Family fight, why is that? I don't know. अपोजिशन में बैठकर कुछ होने वाला नहीं है अपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में डेवलपमेंट होनी चाहिए इसीलिए उनके साथ जाना चाहिए और बहुत दफा वैसी कोशिश हुई मिस्टर शरद पवार से ये अप्रोच अप्रोच यू टू कम बैक एंड यू सेड नो दिस इज करेक्ट ये देखो अभी हम उसके बारे में हमारी सोच ये है 20 का चुनाव वोटिंग और ज्यादा से ज्यादा सीटें लाने का यू वोंट से एनीथिंग तब तक कुछ नहीं बात करें क्या होता है कुछ तो कुछ वो ना इससे चला जाता है सब उसके ऊपर पानी फेर जाता है I am really feeling the family and that's why I have some other responsibility also issue was raised by some of my family members कि इससे अजीत हुआ साथ ही इसी कोई से कुछ कर दिया ये अवैध फांसी वस्तु रहने से वो अजीत तो है this is our party. That's why our colleagues in the family, they say, we got all the benefits from this party. Now we are going with a party with whom you fought. You lost elections, you fought, you contested, you won. And now we have to go with them. Either you leave this, come back to us, continue your activities in the religious party, Nothing is there, nobody is taking anything. But he could consent the same to go with business and other things. And that's why they are not sorry. So are they going to come back? Uh, any hope of Shinde and Uddhav Thakre? Shinde, Uddhav, it, it, it's very unlikely, unlikely. Because it's become personal now, you know. Yes, I mean, yes, it's yes. not like only political division. It, it, it's become personal and right up to the kitchen, you know. <laughs> no, right up to the father. Yeah. In fact, Aditya Thakre said he asked Mr. Shinde, why don't you put your father instead of my grandfather there? This is what he had to say. I've challenged Mr. Ekna Chinde a couple of times that take your own father's picture, <laughs> use that in the campaign, use your own logo and use your own name. Can't win a seat. Taking our pictures, our grandfather's photo, our party's photo, our party founder's photo, he can go around everywhere. But just because someone has stolen something, he doesn't become the owner of it. This belongs to all of these people. And do people see it as though he's stolen? Is there sympathy yes, for Yes, absolutely. See, more than sympathy, there's an anger that this government, this regime has been anti-Maharashtra. So that seems unlikely. Yeah, but on the other side, there has been a talk about Ajit Pawar going back to, if not Ajit, at least his men, you know. Deputy Chief Minister. Uh, he has been the only constant thing in the last five years in Maharashtra. We had three governments, three no, chief ministers. Years, not only five. Not, <laughs> last 20 years. The only constant thing in Maharashtra. So we'll know who is in power only when we know where Ajit Pawar is going. And also, Ekna Shinde has the most to lose. He's emerged as a leader. The rest of the five Correct. already had leaders. in. So for him to now... Go not back. even Deputy Chief Minister. Correct. For the man has to be Chief Minister. Chief Minister. Otherwise, his party, That's right. the Shiv Sena... Uh, will not be with you. Not, yeah, and you know, Devendra Fadnavis has to had to, to go through the same thing. Yeah. But he has a disciplined party, so they're staying behind him. But Shinde will find it very difficult unless he's, he's either leader of the opposition or he's the chief minister. He can't be anything else.
सीएम सर क्या आपको लगता है इस चुनाव के बाद ये पता चल जाएगा कि शिवसेना बनाम शिवसेना में असली शिवसेना कौन है लोकसभा हुआ अब विधानसभा और है इसके बाद एक क्लियर पिक्चर मिल जाएगा कि असली शिवसेना की ताकत किसके पास लोकसभा का चुनाव का नतीजा नहीं देखा क्या लोकसभा चुनाव में हम तेरह सीटों पर स्टेट फाइट किए साथ हम जीते कोंगन में उनको एक भी सीट नहीं मिली संभाजी नगर में नहीं मिली हमारा स्ट्राइक रेट उनसे सात ज़्यादा है हमारा वोट शेयर ज़्यादा है तो कौन वो तो हुआ ना अब उनके बाद जो वोट शेयर है वो तो कांग्रेस की वोट बैंक है वो तो ज़्यादा दिन चलेगी नहीं और हमारे पास जो वोट बेस जो है शिवसेना का मूल जिसको बाला साहब ठाकरे जी के विचार के वोट बैंक है वो हमारे साथ है अभी विधानसभा में तो आपको पता चल ही जाएगा और अच्छी तरह से सो वेन मिस्टर शिंदे बिट्रेड यू what was the reason for it was it Pro ideology both was it money and will you ever get back together again nahi ye to abhi bahut purani baat hogi ji ha unhone sab kuch dene ke bawajood sirf cm hone ke liye hamare sath gaddari ki jo very unfortunate hai shiv sena ne unko sab kuch diya tha maine unko minister banaya tha ud ministry di thi pehle bhi देवेंद्र जी जब चीफ मिनिस्टर थे तब भी मैंने उनको मिनिस्ट्री दी थी और इतना होने के बाद सिर्फ सीएम होना था उनको अगर सब कुछ ठीक हो जाता तो बात अलग थी लेकिन अब ये तो बात पुरानी हो गई उन्होंने तो अभी तोड़फोड़ की है गद्दारी की है और अभी महाराष्ट्र की जनता उनको सबक सिखाएगी इफ दो नहीं अभी So one of the things we got to look out for are which are the high profile candidates when all the results are coming in I mean there are so many very kanteki takkar fights this time tell us a few of them you know Maharashtra has six parties for a start contending so there are about 50 leaders but we'll just spend time on 8 or 10 Eknath Shinde the chief minister from the Shiv Sena Devendra Fadnavis Ajit Pawar all big leaders on one side on the other side people we may not have heard of jayant patel who's the ncb state president nana patole whom we've interviewed and on the thakare side in the, in terms of contesting is aditya thakare against milind devra and of course there is the very amit thakare the son of uh, raj thakare is from the first time entering another thakare branch of the family is entering the fray and finally two sons of narayan rane fighting neighboring constituencies from different parties Two so that is what Deshmukh. makes things exciting. Two sons of Vilas Rav Deshmukh also. Yes. And no, but fighting from different parties. Yeah. yeah one is Shiv yeah. Sena, one is BJP. Yes. Yeah. Vilas Rav is also trying to. He's passed away, but you know his sons are trying to protect his legacy, the way the Mundes have not been able to. Yeah. And there are a lot of independents being put up, pretending to be with the same name as the candidate, like yes. Anil Deshmukh, yeah. and given the symbol. <laughs> the, so there's R R Patel's son who is contesting this election, mm -hmm. and there are four mm -hmm. other people with the same name wearing the same specs, contest and uh, contesting from the same seat. So they are trying to create a lot of confusion. In fact, in Lok Sabha, a similar thing happened where uh, Sharad Pawar's uh, political symbol it is called trumpet, and there's another symbol which is also which called trumpet in English, and that created an this issue over there. This time they have ensured they had to ensure that this ha doesn't happen this time. With the so election. 150 seats, uh, uh, the trumpet look-alike symbol has been uh, allotted. 150 seats, and one seat parliamentary election uh, NCP lost because of this confusion. The votes polled to that candidate with with similar uh, symbol uh, are 37,000, and that's exactly the difference between winning and the losing candidate. In Satara Uday and Rajesh Bhosle. What is surprising is that you know the candidates are put in order of national parties first, state parties. The other guy is right at the end. He is with independents, but yet 37,000 people went all the way there and voted for him. Thanks very much for watching. That was great. You learned a lot uh, from all your observations. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.